Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I hope you're doing well today. Today I have a fun haul. I have gotten my Jane Davenport supplies from Australia and um, I went ahead, I saw, as you probably did too, most of you, um, saw her new line of stuff coming out and I'm always the last one in Michael's and it's always sold out so <laughs> it's supposed to be October 20th here in the States uh, that I think, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's in Michael's on October 20th, if I have that correctly, but I, um, first of all, I'm on vacation <laughs> during that time, and by the time I get in there, it's all going to be out, so I went ahead and paid the piper there and uh, got it sent from Australia. I, I went and did it in three orders because I kept forgetting stuff, so it was a little bit of an expensive uh thing to do, but I felt like I knew I would like it. I love her first line, and so I went ahead and got some things. I did get one box, like, maybe a week ago, and then I just got the final two, so I thought I'd go ahead and open them all together. So lots of packing peanuts. Um, so this is um, the collage papers, but looks like 30 of them in different designs, so... Uh, those will be fun to play with. You can cut them off, but you don't have to use the whole thing, you know, and that helps out with your art journaling and whatnot, mixed media. So, uh, looking forward to those. Got some of the incre incredible pens she came out with. This is her original one here, was the black. And so, um, I think I've got the mermaid one in the other box, perhaps. But this one is this beautiful teal color. And um, it comes with some different colored inks, as well as the uh, converter there. So you can use, uh, like, your mermaid marker inks. You can unscrew the ones there and dip that in there. And I uh, use your pen with those if you so choose. But uh, anyway, so I got that. Um, let's see here. Digging through. Got some rub-ons. These are the old line, but I went ahead and got some more of those because this is my favorite one, like, ever, that she's ever drawn. <laughs> um, I don't know. I love the hat. I love the... I don't know. I just love everything about it. So I got one of those again. And this is the collapsible brush. So a bit of wrangling there. Um, okay. So it looks like a little... It looks like a little lipstick type makeup thing. Let's fun. So that just pops right out. Look at that. It's got a nice, it's like a little round brush and it's got a nice fine tip. So there are lots of things you can do with that and then to put it away you just go like that. That's fun. Mermaid brushes. So you get a round one, a big flat one, and then a angled brush and then it has these little textural elements here so if you're doing like gel press things like that or even just putting down some acrylic you can do some quick little doodles in there it's just handy to have uh, and yeah fun colors looks fun those are the mermaid texture brushes is what that's called you got the little I got this in my other box too the little um, ladybug magnets that's cute little free gift there our journal tattoos so as you can see on the back here um, they're like rub ons I think she calls them journal tattoos but super pretty you get the eyes and you can do any one of these and then just kind of add on to that um, so we'll be playing with these lots of fun so you get four rub on transfer sheets super cool my original box I got, so I got some more ladybugs there, and this is the mermaid pen with the scales, and then you think you get three black inks with this one instead of the colors, so you get, again, the converter and then three ink little things, and these are very easy to set up. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to show you how to do that, um, but they're nice pens to write with and draw on your art journals with, and planners and things like that. Um, I got some extra ink cartridge colors, and they come with these nice pouch, so once they're out of this packaging, you can just pop them into the little Jane Davenport bag there and tidy them up. But these have two of each color, but anyway, you get two of each color, like a purple, pink, green, dark teal, and a blue. I got extra, I got the sepia one as well and you get the little bag with it because I thought drawing in sepia would be really pretty. I really like sepia, that like old-fashioned touch and uh, as I work on like my digital downloads and things uh, I, I like the idea of the sepia in there so I went ahead and got a package of those as I throw that out. Um, let's see here. 
Also got some more colors here because I just anticipate needing the refills. Those come with all these little dots that hopefully you can see there. Aqua pastels. Um, looking forward to using these. Of course, I'm, I like my Lyra. Just type Lyra, L-Y-R-A, into my channel. You'll get some videos that pop up with that. But uh, like a um, watercolor crayon, essentially, uh, that not only you can put down on paper and then hydrate it, uh, but you can also kind of take them with you traveling, and it's a dry media, and then you can just use your water brush and then touch the tip and then paint that way as well. So it's like paint sticks on the go, if you want to think about it that way. And it comes in her beautiful tins with her artwork there on that. So pretty. I got, let's see here, the new mermaid markers. I think the only one set I did not get, because I kind of had to draw the line at some point here, but I got the shipwrecked, so that comes with six. You can see them here, kind of a blackish, grayish, the pink, red, blue, and green. And then I got the glitter ones, Shimmering Sky. So it comes in those colors and they have glitter in them. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that, because I love glitter. And these are also glitter ones, the Celestial Sky, so they're kind of neutral metallics. So the black, gold, silver, and the sort of white, unicorny <laughs> uh, element there. Also came out with a lot of acrylic paints, and I think the only one I got was the metallics this time around. She did come out with a set of primaries, and that does come with a brush and a stencil. I think it's the color wheel, and then I went ahead and got this metallic, and it also comes with this stencil here inside so you can make fun crowns because who doesn't want to make a crown and hopefully that's showing up and not making a big glare but uh, it does have the stencils in there uh, so beautiful colors are there with a nice little shimmer I've been waiting patiently to open this up um, her new stamp sets um, which I like I have to say I like her first round the best because I love the faces and the eyes and all those things I like these but um, probably my favorites are still the first round but I'm looking forward to using this the bigger eye here the mandalas the sort of paisley-esque um, I don't know makes you think of Morocco and those kinds of things I don't, at least it does with me these little border stamps uh, under the sea hands, which sometimes are a problem for people to draw, so um, that's a nice addition there. Seahorse, um, is that sand dollar? I can't quite remember. Uh, and mermaidy things are there. So those are her two new stamp sets. So of course she puts her beautiful artwork on the tin here, and these are the colors. So kind of interesting colors. It's got the tin. Oh, my tins are in the other other room there. I was painting. Um, so it's got the same tin, and it's got the little card that you can swatch out on. You can like laminate the, that too. I think I'm going to laminate mine because mine are starting to get speckly. Um, and then nice mixing spots there. Your travel brush can fit right in there like that, so that's good. But it's got um, some nice, uh, it's got neat names, Ariel, Nirid, Slif, water spirit and so forth. So it's got blues and teals and greens and peaches and pinks and things like that. So a little bit different palette to work with, so that'll be fun. Maybe you can see the colors better on the box here if I can get rid of that glare. Um, olive green, very deep army olive, sort of green like a dark seaweed. You want to think about it that way. So yeah, put my brush in there. I, I don't have any pan pastels. I've always been interested in getting them. And I did come out with a few pastel, sort of pan pastel esque um, sets. So I went ahead and got those. The two sets, and you get um, basically it's like a little tin. Let's go ahead and open one up. One. It's so cute. I think I'm going to keep this cover here. So you have these replacement applicators. It's like an eyeshadow brush <laughs> of sorts, um, basically. So I guess if you run out of those, you can just go to the makeup section and get that. Oh. So they're a very chalky finish. So you can apply them. It just gives a different um, effect, and you can apply it over your watercolor and acrylics. And 
So fun colors there, and little lemon lime twisty colors, like these salmony colors, beautiful. It's got that beautiful artwork on there. And then, oh here's the rub-ons. Okay, so you can swatch them out on here. And then you have some eye rub-ons to use in your art journals. It's so pretty. I love this. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, that's that one. This one is all rosies and sort of neutral colors, maybe facial tones as well as some pinks with a different artwork on there. These are more of a creamy one, I believe. Let's see here. There's our lips. Swatch card. Yeah, cream pastels. Whereas these are chalk pastels. And then here's your rub-ons that you get. So you can use those. You get that same lipstick applicator and sponges. They definitely feel more creamy. Um, hence the sticking to the plastic there. But beautiful. And they have a slight shimmer to them. A little bit of a almost like a, well, it's very much like an eyeshadow, I mean, <laughs> it's in that, in that way, but very beautiful colors. So those two together will give you a nice little palette if you don't own any pastel type um, media. I'll show you the difference there. Super pretty. Just so you have a heads up there as we go into October, I believe that's October 20th at Michael's and then everywhere else I think she's making it available this time. Um, I don't know what all that means, but where that would be, but I think in November. So Michael's is kind of getting their exclusive moment there uh, where everybody will be there. So, all right, guys, um, looking forward to doing some projects with this and swatching out my paints. Uh, go ahead and hit video, uh, hit the like and subscribe. We have a subscriber giveaway coming in uh, the end of October, so you want to make sure that you're in on that. And I'm going to get myself all put away here and set up to play. Have a great day.